Hey, it's Owen here with the Lennox Realty Group and Parkbench.com. And today we're sitting down with Cameron from the Round Table. And uh, we're gonna see a little bit more about their company and what they do to uh, offer services to the neighborhood. So Absolutely. Cameron, can you tell us a little bit about the Round Table? Uh, so uh, Roundtable Waterloo is uh, a very fantasy, fun, magical uh, restaurant where you uh, uh, serve some amazing food and kind of as soon as you enter, you're, you're, the whole point is you're coming into another world, yeah. right? Uh, and it's, it's, it's just a lot of fun from the stone on the walls, from you know, the, the fantasy swords, from our trees to the hidden bow truckles all over the place. Uh, we've got a lot of fun stuff here, um, but it's not just eye candy. Right. Yeah. We, we have uh, we run a lot of really fun events from trivia to artisan type things where you can come and you know uh, work with a blacksmith learn how to oh. blacksmith yeah wow. we, yeah work some chain mail learn <laughs> leather work we have some fantastic artists who come in um, and but the foundation of everything really is uh, is our fantastic food. So uh, it, it's it's elevated pub fare. It's it's stuff you're going to recognize. Like we got a burger and fries, but it's not like frozen burger uh, on, okay. on on you know a white bread bun kind of thing. Like you know it's handmade with local beef on a brioche bun. Like you know it's it, there's a lot of care and um, artisanal feel yeah. to the stuff that 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 we serve, but it's familiar. Yeah, it's elevated pub food as well. Like okay, to say. so yeah, you've got your your na regular staples, and then yeah. but just everything kind of on an elevated, elevated well, level. Well, that's exactly it. Is is we look at like you know okay, well we, we we love wings, we love a salad. Well, what can we do to that to bring it to the next level? So yeah. something that you may not have seen before, but won't necessarily scare you off. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I know because when I when I first came in here, I was I was taken back just by you. You don't know where to kind of look because there's <laughs> so much cool. Stuff going on. Well, that's exactly it. And that's, that's, that's one of the things that we have, you know, we got a lot going on. Like, yeah. like almost like literally and figuratively. Like yeah. we have a lot of going on the walls. We got a lot of events going on. We got a lot of food going on. We got a lot to experience. And that's one of the great things is that every time you come in, you see a little something different. You experience something a little bit different. And um, with all of the props and replicas that we do have up in the walls, it's like they're, they're not for show. We yeah. encourage you to take them down, take swing them, down. them around, yeah, yeah. explore it, check it out. And that's, that's the whole point. What's the point of having toys if you're not going to play with them? Yeah. Right? So so there, there aren't any actual axe fighting or uh, sword no, fighting? No, no, we don't, we don't have either. Uh, we did have a comedian come in. We have a, we have a regular comedy night and he was improv and the best thing he said is like, you know, man, if a bar fight ever breaks out, this <laughs> yeah. is the place I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought that was, that was a, a, a quite clever. Yeah. But yeah, but so uh, we have lots of stuff to check out and, and everything's for sale too. Like okay. if, 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 if you want a sword off the walls, you can take it home with you. Yeah. So it's not just Check it out, pretty, take it home. exactly. And then, and then we can rotate through different things. Okay. It represent different fandoms, have different cool stuff in and yeah, yeah it's a better experience. Nice. Uh, where, where do you guys get your like, the swords, games, stuff like that. Where does that all come Well, from? you know, as a, as a fantasy restaurant, we got a sword guy. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Everybody's got to have a sword you gotta, guy. You, you gotta, I got a sword guy, yeah. So we, we have someone who is a retailer of swords. Okay. And it's, it's, it's really funny that the, the, the people that we end up meeting and, and fantastic individuals that yeah. give us access to you, super unique skills and things like that. Like um, some amazing, like, you know, like I said, uh, uh, blacksmithing, <laughs> leathersmithing, incredible yeah. woodworking, incredible unique stuff. Uh, for that sort of that sort of thing, and that's like you know. So we have a medieval armorist. <laughs> there you go. You yeah. always want to get some good food and also have backup medieval armorist available. Well, well that's that. it's one stop shopping. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> I'm hungry and I want a sword. Where can I go? The Round Table. Yeah. That, that's that's, that's, that's a good go. commercial. We should we should make that commercial. <laughs> Coming up next. Yeah. <laughs> Cut two. There we go. <laughs> that's awesome. Now, what uh, what would you have for like staples for for food or drinks? Do you have drink specials that you have going on regularly? Yeah. So um, so we always we kind of have a chalkboard where it's just kind of like let's get creative. Let's okay. do something neat. Uh, one of our most recent ones was the flaming mo. So okay. uh, you know the Simpsons reference where you you were literally served a drink that was on fire. Okay. So we had some overproof rum in there, and it would you know we would ignite it before serving it. Yeah. Uh, um, one of our other really uh, amazing ones is we have a Manhattan, but we've named it the Doctor Manhattan. It's okay. a uh, applewood smoke infused cocktail. Uh, so it's kind of served and it's kind of like a, a, in, a, in a bell jar, and it's just fantastic. Um, I I have a a Nuka Cola here in in front of me, and this, this is um, a radiation free Nuka Cola. Okay. You, you, yeah. It's, it's a, <laughs> uh, usually it's a it's a three ounce cocktail, and it's just it's a fantastic flavor combination yeah so so we, we have some really really creative cocktails and we pride ourselves in some really unique and they're all 
themed, right? They're all uh, themed to a fandom or something fun. Okay. Um, and so those, that's the cocktail end of things. But we also have uh, all Ontario craft beer on draft. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so we really, really pride ourselves on on supporting local and uh, you know the smaller breweries and things like that. So, uh, we're really we we, we love us to build really unique relationships with them. With uh, the suppliers, yeah, with the suppliers and, and whatnot. And stuff. Yeah. Exactly it. And okay. we're currently working with Aber Brew Brewery to uh, create our own beer. Uh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. That so sounds yeah, pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, Lady of the Logger, I believe, is, okay. is, 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 is the front runner kind for names of, yeah. at the moment. But uh, yeah, so we're, we, have, we have a partnership with them, and uh, we also have a partnership with them with Settlement Coffee to uh, have uh, our own branded coffees coming okay. in. Okay. Just, just flavored just the way we want them to be. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, kind of going to that craft theme there. Well, and that, that's exactly it, because cause we, could, we could do what everyone else is doing. Yeah. Right. But everyone else is already doing that. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. And that's and that's great. And not to say that anybody that, that, that is a bad way to go, but we want to offer something different. Yeah. That's, that's the whole. Where else can you go with stone walls and trees and swords on the walls and, and amazingly unique cocktails all tying the themes and fandoms. Yeah. So that's that's why I'm most excited about being involved with the round table. Awesome. Yeah. Now, now speaking of that, what kind of events do you have? Do you have events coming up in the in the near future that we should at least be knowing about? <laughs> yeah. So we we have some. Fairly regular, regular events throughout uh, uh, the month. Uh, we always have trivia nights, uh, all sorts of different themes uh, that we work through. We have uh, regular Blood Bowl nights, which is, uh, okay. it, it's sort of like, uh, it's, it's a miniature style game. You basically play, what if 40,000 years in the future, the people discovered football and interpreted it in their own way. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we have a Blood Bowl League, uh, which is excellent. We have D&D on Saturdays and Sundays four times a, a month. So that, that's a really, really great crowd to have in. So yeah. really unique uh, storytelling and some fun stuff. Um, uh, we also have, as I mentioned, regular artisan uh, events where we work with local artists to come in and kind of share their craft. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, coming up. We have so like a, uh, some leather crafting, blacksmithing, painting. Uh, uh, we have uh, chain mail coming in. In the past, we've done like uh, wire wrapping of crystals for necklaces and stuff. Okay. So oh, that's that's There's actually a little it. bit of everything well, for for anybody. Well, that's and, and if if it's, I get excited about new and different things. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, that's why I, that's what I try to bring in when I'm event planning. New, different, unique. What have I never seen before? Yeah. Um, and 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 to cap it all off, we also go. We're not just exclusively like medieval fantasy, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we have a, a stream team that we work with, which is a series of Twitch streamers okay. that we that we sponsor. So they're local gamers who are uh, building, uh, you know, a career through Twitch yeah. and uh, stream video games and whatnot. So we invite them in. We have retro gaming days. We have Mortal Kombat tournaments and lots of, lots of fun stuff. There's really not much you don't. Yeah. If it's if it's in the realm of kind of like the nerdy geeky fun fantasy unique if there isn't really a place to do it anywhere else yeah we try to do it here yeah bring it bring it here well that, that's exactly it because you know we're, we're a sports bar for nerds yeah exactly. <laughs> is, is one that of the things that I like well to say yeah. yeah okay now how did this how did this all get started so originally so our location here in Waterloo started as a watchtower restaurant okay uh, which was again that, that nerd theme bar it, that embodied many of the things uh, uh, that the round table does and then recently we were acquired by the round table okay. the round table started in Guelph as a board game cafe uh, and so now they expanded to Waterloo and Kitchener and they're also looking at opening locations overseas as well which is okay. which is really really uh, yeah. amazing they have some uh, very ambitious expansion plans so um, uh, they've acquired us here and kind of brought more of the fantasy element as well as the board game element yeah. which is fantastic because we had the board games and, and we had them but th we've, we've shifted slightly more in that direction because we have the support of the round table and their purchasers and so, yeah. so you know we're not uh, some people were concerned that we change a whole lot moving from the uh, watchtower restaurant to the round table Waterloo um, but it's so much the same but instead of being an island we're yeah. part of a kingdom yeah right? you've got a lot more power behind it well exactly and, and a lot more support a lot more hands to kind of pull in here where is the expert for this where is the expert for this nice. so it's it's been amazing really joining that kingdom and being a part of it awesome Perfect. Now, is there anything else that kind of, if someone's watching this video and just trying to find out a little bit more about the round table that you really want to make sure to, that they know about? Yeah, and just that the, the, the round table in all of our locations are for everyone. And okay. like, you know, I, I, I said the sports bar for nerds, but we're, we're for everyone, right? Yeah. It's not just, you know, uh, fantasy themes. We have one of our biggest trivia is the office trivia or Brooklyn Nine Nine. Okay. So, so Perfect. we it's yeah. really we cater to fandoms. Yeah. And uh, and if you're a fan of something, we want you to come in here. Yeah. Like you know, and especially uh, fans of 
where you don't have that opportunity to express it somewhere else. Okay. There's lots of places where you can go uh, stream, you know, uh, the sports games, the Raptors game, or whatever, and that, yeah. that's awesome. That's amazing. That yeah. community exists. Yeah. But where can we go stream esports? Where can we yeah. go, uh, you know, uh, play that D and D? Where can we go have the trivia night for the thing that I love so much? Yeah. And that's and that's what we're trying to offer um, because it doesn't doesn't exist anywhere else really. Now you've got so many different options. Is there say if someone's a fan of something, can they put in a request for oh, for something? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. It's it's very interesting. What we've learned though with our trivia is which ones are massive and huge, yeah. and which ones are much more smaller. Which is it's, it's yeah, you'd be very surprised. Yeah. So we're always open to ideas and suggestions because like like we want to know what you want to come on out and have fun <laughs> with. And our trivia is unique too because with our big screens we do visual trivia. Okay. Like for instance tonight is uh, Doctor Who trivia, and so we have we put up um, a sonic screwdriver. Whose sonic screwdriver is this? Yeah. Right. And like you know, and, and things like that. So we can we can have gifts and videos and things like that. That is much more interactive. Yeah. So not only do you hear the question, but you can also read the question and not have to hear it repeated because it's up on the screens yeah. with visual support. And that's again, there's lots of places that do trivia. That's our edge. We so, we, do, we do it a little bit different and uniquely. Yeah. You come in for great food, amazing drinks, and then crazy amount of entertainment in all different genres. Well, and that's that's exactly it. That's exactly it. it it's it's the, that kind of haven, that that place where all the knights gather together, <laughs> right? For camaraderie and you know, yeah. you know the star into the yeah, the together and that's that's kind of the the goal of the place is, yeah. is to have that community. Perfect. Well, I don't know if there's anything else we can kind of cover other than you need to get here. You right? de so, def definitely do. Come on so, out. All of our contact information to reach the round table will be listed below this video. So please re uh, look through there and make sure you come in and check out an event. If there's something that you like, put in a suggestion and we'd love to see you here and try some of the great food, drinks and amazing atmosphere. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. We'll Thanks a lot. See you soon.